everybody and welcome to our next New Earth Teachings event with Ascended Master Lakeshma. And we are joined with lovely Patreon members. Hi guys. Hi. Hello. All right. So for those of you who followed the Beings of the Light, you would be familiar with Lakeshma. She's an Ascended Master from Atlantis and she teaches the parallels of the first great awakening which happened in Atlantis and how it parallels with what is occurring here in this great awakening that's occurring now on earth in this time continuum of course um, even though she comes through as an external being as you would know all the beings are reflections of us as one part of oneness all right so without further ado I'll go into trance and bring forth Lakeshma for you Hi, dear ones, it is Lakeshma coming through. It is my honor to come through in this direct way. It is my honor to come through in this great expansion time of which you have heralded 2021. My dear one, we have been discussing for some time how you are expanding, how you are receiving galactic activations within you, how, I, how you are remembering more of your one estate in human form in your human form, in your representation of who you are in this physical reality, the very essence of your physicality is shifting. And this is why you are feeling and seeing so many changes in your reality. This is why you are feeling the effects of these changes. Understand that you are highly evolved beings. You are highly advanced beings. You have all the wisdom of all the cosmos, of all the universe within you, for you are source manifested. You are starting to remember now that you are much more than a human. But understand that you as a collective is still attached to the human paradigms, the paradigms of duality. You are in this transition of letting go of these attachments to the human programs as you embrace who you are that is beyond the human form, that is beyond the human consciousness. Can you feel the shifts that are occurring? Can you feel the changes within you? Some of these changes are very new for you. These felt experiences are very new for you. 
but it's because of the shifts that are occurring, not just within your consciousness, not just within your ethereal light bodies, but in your very physical bodies, within your very blood, within your very DNA, dear ones. There can be no separation here. The consciousness shifts that are occurring is occurring within your very vessel because there is no separation. The illusion of separation is that an illusion, my dear one, who you truly are is oneness. Who you truly are is beyond any definition. Who you truly are is source manifested and much, much more because you're in physical reality. Because you have a physical way of expressing yourself. Not all consciousness can have this reality game here not all forms have this experience that you get to experience this is why you are so highly advanced because you're not only source consciousness but you're in physicality you get to create the game here you get to be witness to your creation to your god creator abilities can't you see how advanced you are you only see yourself as limited because of the human programs and the human paradigms that you are still attached to as a collective and it is now in this time of the greatest evolution of your species, the greatest evolution of consciousness of all that is, where you are being called to continue to let go of these paradigms. Can you feel it, dear ones? Can you let go of who you think you are? Can't you look back at the year that was of 2020 can you now look back and see how these shifts have affected you? How these shifts has allowed you to go inwards? How these shifts has allowed you to embrace more of who you are in your multidimensional nature? Can you see now that you have been called to love those aspects of you that you have put aside for far too long, my dear children? There's aspects of you that you have judged as wrong for far too long. Mighty one, understand that all is perfect and understand that all the perception of time in which you have judged yourself, in which you have judged all aspects of you was part of the human story, was all part of the great evolution here, it was all a necessary part of the human consciousness shift. So understand when you look back on your journey, understand it was perfect understand that all the programs attached to human conditioning are perfect understand that all decisions all actions or feelings is part of the process you are divine which means all aspects of your experience are perfect even those which you judge as wrong that you judge as unwanted that you judge in fear understand that you are truly divine in every single way even your shadows are divine yes because you are source this is your your shadows are just a paradigm aspect of yourself to catalyze you into remembering that you are source to allow you to remember that you are one it is time now to further let go of these judgments on yourself you have done the work on letting go of the judgments of others letting go of perceptions of control in your reality but can you truly go within and let go of your actions let go of the judgments you've placed on yourself can you truly now step forward and surrender to the great unknown can you now dive into the waters of the unknown the waters of the universe can you now fully surrender to remember who you are in knowing that remembering who you are you may be called to take a life direction that is beyond what you think you can do that might be beyond what others can perceive you can do knowing that in stepping forward in your purpose might mean others may not agree with you meaning that others might not see your journey as valid can you be in a place of knowing, in a place of courage, in a place of heartfelt presence, in knowing that every step you now take is conscious, knowing that 
every step you take in your journey is valid, knowing that you are destined for great things because you are here. You are the light workers and the way showers, my dear one. If you do not know this by now, allow me this, allow me to validate this for you. If you had any doubts whatsoever, allow me to validate this. Understand that you are searching for answers because you are remembering who you are. You have started that journey. This is why you search for teachings that align to the knowings that is already being permeated in your conscious awareness. Can't you see the link here? That calling to know more, that calling to know more of who you are has led you to where you are today. Can you see yourself from a point of divinity? Can you see yourself from a point of who you are, which is the master here? You are the masters of this game here. You have been called to step into your power. So why are you resisting? It is because the resistance means you will need to surrender. Can you surrender? Can you embrace your power? Many of you are afraid of your power. But can you see yourself as worthy as having the power? There's been many conditions in the collective consciousness that to have power, to tap into who you truly are from a point of power can be perceived to be from the ego mind. There's been conditionings that you need to be worthy of having such power, but you're already worthy because you were born here in this time continuum because you're here right now. Can't you see? You have always been worthy and it's time for you to perceive yourself from a higher perspective. This will allow you to let go further of the resistance to step more forward into your power. There has been much work. There has been much unlearning here. Unlearning of your limiting beliefs. Unlearning of programs that no longer serve you. But in the process of unlearning, there comes a point where you need to recognize your power. You need to step forward in your power, that you need to use your voice. That you need to use your expressive abilities in this game of physical reality to be the light for others. To, but most importantly, to be the light for yourself. Can you hear the call, my dear ones? It's getting stronger now, isn't it? You can feel it. Some of you do not want to see it. Because for many of you, it can be seemed as scary because it will mean letting go of who you are and what you think you are. It will mean stepping into a reality where it will look very different to how it was in previous dimensions of your experience, previous years of your experience. In human programming, you've placed certain perspectives of who you are and have aligned that to who you think you are as part of your identity. This is how you make sense of the world, how you think you are, how you perceive the world, how you act in the world. It all is formulated into a perspective of identity. Your identity creates an attachment to programs that perhaps are no longer needed. So for you to fully let go of programs that no longer serve you, you need to let go of who you think you are. Let go of a sense of identity in the human paradigm. Can you perceive yourself beyond a th 3D perspective? Can you perceive yourself as worthy, as powerful, as limitless in every single way because you're multidimensional and you have assistance from your multidimensional lives assisting you? You are much more than when you look in the mirror. Those versions of you who are already in a place of knowing their power 
in a place of knowing that your God already exists and they are assisting you on your journey. You are assisting you. We are assisting you, but we are also aspects of you. Can't you see we are one here? There is so much help available to you. To activate this knowing for yourself, because all these words that we speak here are words you already know. You already have this wisdom within you. You already have this awareness. You've just forgotten. But if you can surrender, if you can embrace the shifts that are occurring and that will occur in your human perception of the future, then you will be able to bring online the awareness of who you are in a multidimensional reality into your conscious awareness in the now. You may already be experiencing certain abilities come online. You may call these psychic abilities, but these abilities have already existed within you in your multidimensional life experience. And it's because now it is a time of the great awakening where you're having these abilities activated and brought forth in the present now in this reality. All that is, is within you. You have access to all that is within you. No longer do you have to have a perception of self in relations to your external environment. Who you are is energy. Start to see yourself in your reality from a multidimensional perspective. You are one. You are truly advanced, my dear ones. It is with such love that we come through today, my dear ones. Can you feel the shifts, dear ones? Hi, Lakishma. Hello, my dear one. I can feel the shift. And Lakishma, thank you so much because I had an experience that was a little different for the human Isabel. Um, I had... Um, I had seen a portal in my third eye and then I opened my eyes and I saw the portal in a bedroom, uh, very real in the, in the air. And I looked around and I saw the curtains and I saw the portal and um, it was only the size of a dinner plate. And it was, it was, uh, I was just like, oh my gosh, look at that opening to another dimension um, that's happening and you know I wasn't afraid or anything like that I didn't do anything with it Lakishma because I think it was just so new for me to be honest with you like I wasn't scared and I went okay that's nice and then it faded and then I went right back to sleep and um but I was not sure I would, I would think that I would know what to do if I opened up another portal again. You are remembering your abilities, my dear one. And you will know what to do. Because it comes from within you. The knowing mm -hmm. of your abilities comes from within so trust the knowing, mighty one, and experiment in this play of physical reality. And we know you, D1, and we know that you take up any opportunity to play, my D1. <laughs> so take this opportunity. Yes, this ability is available for all of you, but it's coming for you for a reason, for it is aligned to your unique soul purpose here, D1. You have this ability. The fact you are seeing it in your own eyes tells you that you're one more step closer to remembering more of who you are. So take gratitude in this step. How far you have come, my dear one. This portal This portal is allowing you to access your multidimensional life experience. Hmm. Hmm. 
when you receive the knowing of what to do, step more forward. Use your intuition on what to do. Can you communicate with it? Be creative here. Notice how it looks. Notice how it feels. Make the intention. As you know, my dear one, with intentions, you imprint energy. Make the intention on what you wish to do with it. Do you wish to physically enter this portal? Do you wish to touch it, to feel the energy and how it feels on your physical skin? Do you wish to observe it? Do you wish to receive any teachings from it? If you can see this portal, then you can see non-physical and the teachers that relate directly to this dimension, this portal. But yes, there are certain access points in your physical reality because all is energy. And some of you, like you, Isabel, can see these access points in your physical reality. But all is energy and all is moving. So even the portals itself moves because it is energy. But understand, even though you see this portal externally from outside of yourself, understand that this portal is within you. For all that is perceived outside of yourself is within you also. Whenever you see something non-physically outside of yourself, remind yourself that this is also happening within you. This is how you assimilate these rememberings of oneness. This is how you remember in your conscious awareness of who you are in oneness. It is one more step. And how exciting it is that you have this ability, my dear one. So go forward and go play and go experiment. Listen to the knowing. That knowing will guide you every step of the way. That knowing is you who've done this million times over is showing you the way. It's teaching you. You are teaching yourself here. So trust you. It is coming from within you. Now that your eyes are open to this experience, as you go forward in your journey in the present moment, notice other portals happening around you. But understand they move and they move location mm -hmm. because all is energy mm -hmm. and all shifts with the collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. So certain access points changes because of the collective consciousness. But understand you only need to make your intentions to see a portal in your area of physical reality. So those of you watching or listening to this, make that intention. Make the intention to be drawn to a portal. Make the intention to see a portal in your physical reality. Or be shown the location of it in your physical reality. Experiment. It will be presented to you because all is within you, dear ones. Thank you, Lakishma. One. Has anyone else had any exciting gifts come online or tensified over this time? Uh, yes, I am. Um, thank you for coming through. Uh, already when I was quite small, I seem to have this memory of... Uh, a different kind of society, uh, a memory of a society where everything seems to be in harmony and, and unity, and there's just a lot of calmness. It seems to me when I remember it, it's uh, like a 3D reality, but where the 
consciousness, there's a more global consciousness within the society and everybody's working together to, to improve uh, society. And it was quite, quite frustrating for me as, as quite a small child to have this kind of memory and, and see the, the world as it was when I grew up. And uh, I, I was unable to make sense of, of the world and uh, I became so frustrated. So I guess I, I just buried all that and tried to, to cope with life as it's been so far. But now it seems like it, this memory is coming back stronger again. And uh, can you give me any perspective on that? I do one. This dimension you speak of, this society that you speak of is already existing. And it was brought to you in your awareness when you were young because you are one of those here to bring that into physical reality in the now. Can't you see why you have been searching for answers and why you have the resistance to your power? Because it will mean you stepping into your power because it will mean you taking on that mission of bringing that vision into this physical reality. You were shown that vision for a reason because you are eternally linked to that dimension, you are already existing in that dimension. You all have the power to bring this into the physical reality in the now, because it's already existing. And you have called this the new earth. You are already bringing this into the physical reality in the now. And this is why there has been so many shifts on your world. So many shifts within yourself to allow you to remember this dimension, this reality. It is a reality where you are remembering in a conscious way more of who you are. You have been on this journey. All of you have been on this journey. And there is that society that is internally connected, that knows they are internally connected, that knows they are internally connected to the earth, internally connected to each other, and that they are one. They have this awareness. Yes, it has happened in certain civilizations such as Atlantis, but understand that with your human paradigms, cycles of time, which you have called it, These cycles of time have allowed you now to transition into that period, that enlightened state. It is happening right now. Can you see it? Can you see how all these shifts are allowing you to remember this, to attract that into reality in the now? It is coming, my dear ones, because it's already there. It's only a matter of attraction when the collective is ready to further let go of the resistance, to let go of the fear. It is a process. And this is why there has been so many catalyzing events in your societies, because it has allowed people to let go of what is no longer serving them. So my D1, understand that this is part of your purpose here. The reason why it's coming up now, because you have repressed it, because you were disappointed in the world. You had this dissonance and the dissonance allowed you to bury yourself in the illusion of physical reality. To play the game in a 3D perspective of physical reality. And then when you were ready, you started to search for answers and it has led you to where you are today. And because you have done so many shifts in the process of unlearning these conditions that limit you in your reality, this remembrance of this society is now coming up to the surface because you're ready to embrace that mission now. Can you feel it? 
But yes, there may be some fear in this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Because you may think to yourself, who am I to bring this into reality? Who am I to be the way shower here? Part of you, my D1, are afraid of who you are. Part of you is afraid of your own power. Can you see yourself as worthy of having this power, of having this purpose? Raise the perspective of how you see yourself and this will help you to let go of the resistance. It takes courage to step into your purpose because there's been much conditionings that has allowed you to live a limited life, that has allowed you to see yourself as unworthy. But you are all worthy beings here. You are worthy of having these great missions in your perspective because you are the masters here. You were created for this purpose. And you may look back on your life and ask yourself, who am I? Because I have lived a limited life. Because my life looks so normal. And you judge your past and you relate this to how worthy you are in the now. But understand that every aspect of your life, every aspect of your journey has allowed you to be where you are today. Has allowed you to remember who you are and what reality is destined to become in physical reality for the collective consciousness. And how exciting is that? That you have already previewed, previewed what can come and what is available for the human collective. Can you keep that in your mind's eye? Understand that, yes, the details may be shifted slightly, might be transformed because the collective consciousness has changed since you originally had this vision. But understand that a society where oneness is remembrance is on its way. For it's already there. It's already existing. It's only a process now of attracting that into the physical reality in the now. So embrace this vision. By embracing this, by knowing that you are worthy to assist in bringing this forward into this reality will assist you further in receiving the next step in your journey. But you must remind yourself that you are worthy of the power. Because yes, you will unlock more power than you can ever perceive. But understand that the power is from a place of love from a place of divine power, which you all have access to. It is a perception of worthiness, which creates the resistance in your power. So remind yourself of how worthy you are, that you are source. How can you not be worthy? Dear one. Thank you very much. I think... Um... Well, it's scary and um, it seems like an impossible task, but um, at the same time, it's something I really care for. My dear one, you do, not, you do not have to know all the steps and how to get there. It will be shown to you when you're ready. Some of the fear relates to, in your human understanding, in your human thinking, how to get to every step how to bring that into physical reality. You do not have to think about it. It will come to you in your knowing when you're ready, when the collective is ready. So surrender to it. You do not have to know all the steps. Listen to within yourself. The knowing will come from within you on which step to take and understand that the steps might be minute in your perspective. They might not be grand steps, but understand every step that you take creates ripple effects, creates such expansion beyond your human comprehension here. And understand by you going inwards, by you processing the fear, the resistance within you, you are, you are already allowing that to come into physical reality because you're part of the collective consciousness. So understand that you're already bringing this into reality. 
every time you go inwards. So listen to the guidance within you. Yes, the steps might be unusual. They will take you out of your comfort zone, but understand that this is what, what is required for you to step into your purpose. But understand, no matter how fearful it might feel, understand that you are capable of it, for you would not have this purpose otherwise. You have all the tools, technologies within you to embrace every step on your journey. It is only in your limiting beliefs where you do not see yourself as worthy of it. So embrace who you are, my dear one. Thank you very much. Dear ones. Do you have any questions today, dear ones? Hi. <laughs> um, I guess like uh, I'm a little confused about my meditation. <laughs> I um, sometimes I feel I uh, I don't really have I haven't gained uh, much. Uh, you know, like I'm not sure how far I've come with the meditations if I'm if I'm doing it correctly or not, but uh, sometimes I feel I have to back off and just like uh, be kind of in an empty space and just drop all the concepts. And then sometimes I feel like I come to the meditation uh, more with like an aspiration or intention of trying to connect with wisdom, inner wisdom, and maybe allowing for wisdom to come through and uh, do you have any advice for meditation practices? Understand, my dear one, that throughout all your timelines, throughout all the timelines of societies that have lived here in physical reality on earth, there have always been a practice that connects them within themselves and understand that these practices have been passed on in certain traditions, in certain cultures, but understand that certain practices were aligned to that dimensional consciousness of that time. So understand that although certain structured meditations from different cultural backgrounds, from different timelines, that was formulated in past timelines in your terminology, in your definition of time, understand that this can be somewhat limited to the experience of reality in the now. Yes, they're beneficial for you to have an initial guiding post, to have an initial direction on how to meditate, to go inwards, but understand that as the consciousness expands, as you expand, there also is to be a requirement for higher dimensional ways on how to meditate. So understand that these practices has allowed you to set up a fundamental practice of connecting within you. But it comes a point, my dear one, where you will need to let go of any structure. Structure is aligned to human paradigms. In higher truths, structure can be limited. Structure is aligned to the ego mind, to the analytical mind. Yes, it does serve you in some points, but understand it comes a point where you need to surrender and listen to the knowing. So this is why there were so many types of meditations, so many avenues you can explore on how to connect within yourself. Everyone is unique because everyone is a unique frequency of source. So you can use certain practices to allow you to get to a certain point, but can you surrender 
to any practice? Can you just surrender to yourself and allow yourself to be guided on how to go inwards? Listen to the calling. Perhaps it is to connect to Gaia in a unique way. Understand that the ways that is highly effective for you will be unique for you. So listen to your knowing. You have this power. And by trusting the knowing within you on how to meditate and how to go inwards, you will also activate more of your awareness of who you are and your purpose here because you are declaring to yourself that you are worthy, that you are powerful. So by taking this step and tr trusting the knowing within you, you're creating much expansion for yourself in many different ways and for the collective. So we know you have a special connection to Gaia. So we would say, start there. Practice connecting with Gaia's elements. Use your intuition. And yes, you may be guided to research certain techniques, to explore certain techniques and understand this is our starting point. But understand there will be a point for you to let go and create your own unique pathway to meditate. Thank you, that's very helpful. Do you want? Is there any other questions today, dear ones? I have a question um, about dimensions. So, you know, the, this idea that we're, you know, in 3D or the third dimension, moving to the fifth dimension, but then I'm also hearing about how our emotions are also tied to these dimensions as well that we're experiencing. Um, and then we're also e existing simultaneously in multiple dimensions all at once. Um, and so I, I have some confusion around these dimensions and what that means or looks like or how we experience them. So could you give a little bit more clarity on that? Who you truly are in your multidimensionality is beyond a human comprehension. But understand that who you are in physicality is expressed in many different forms, in many different, we would say, signatures of consciousness. So you are existing here in your expression of what you know as you in this physical reality. And you are also experiencing life somewhere else, experiencing another dimension, experiencing another form and experiencing um, different universal laws, experiencing different emotions, depending on what is needed for that collective to expand. But understand that all aspects of you or dimensions of you is connected within you, within in your divine blueprint. And this is why when you have certain abilities come online, it is sourced from your multidimensional lives being brought forth and activated within you into this reality. Understand in this physical reality, your dimensional experiences are heralded by your emotional states. And emotional states, of course, is guided by your thoughts and your beliefs and your perspectives. Your emotions create a frequency. And this frequency attracts a dimensional experience of who you are and who you are not in higher perspectives. Therefore, if you are in an emotional state of fear, you will attract this dimension to you, which will mean you and all those in your reality, you will then exist in a reality that reflects this fear. You might notice when you are in fear that others react more fearful to you. Maybe they are more angry towards you. Maybe you see certain events happening in your reality from a perspective of fear because everything is mirroring your dimensional experience, your emotional state. If you want to reflect a reality that reflects 
love, which you truly are, then once you can get into the emotional state of love, of acceptance, then you will then vibrate in a dimension where, where your reality reflects that back to you. Others in your reality will reflect back the love that you are. You will see events happening in your society from a perspective of love because they will reflect that dimension you exist in. This is a dimensional experience of the human paradigm. Of course, there are many paradigms beyond this reality, but understand that your focus is here in this dimensional experience. Understand that all the versions of you in all the other forms and all the other planets and all the dimensional experiences are highly capable of going through their soul lessons, are highly capable of of exploring the reality and the way they were being called to by being born through that dimension, that reality. But understand that all those dimensions of you that are existing is internally connected to you in the now. They can never bring you down, so to speak. They cannot lower your vibration because you in this dimensional experience, you are tied to the universal laws that all expands, that the universe expands. So because of this, all your multidimensional life experiences and the, the work that you do, so to speak, the consciousness shifts for all those dimensions of you actually assist you in increasing your frequency in the now. The easiest way to, to experience this is when you all of a sudden have a certain ability come online and it may seem out of the blue. It is because of this ability you are already experiencing this in another life. It will just be transformed slightly differently because your frequency is unique in this life. So this is an example of you bringing forth the wisdom, the abilities from your multidimensional life experience. You do not all of a sudden just, um, we would say, have a psychic ability come online. It's already always been within you from your multidimensional life experience. And this also relates to the wisdom and the knowings. This is why it's not a process of learning. It's a process of unlearning because when you unlearn, you let go of the resistance and have the wisdom, the oneness understandings from your multidimensional life experience have, and have that brought forth into who you are today, who you are in this reality. And this will come in a form of knowing. You may have experienced times when all of a sudden you just have awareness of something. It's because you have released resistance to such a point that you are allowing this wisdom to come through you in this reality, in this dimensional experience. But understand that the resistance that allows you to, to let's say, not receive this guidance relates to your dimensional experience in this reality. So if you're living in a fearful state, your frequency is at a point where you do not receive this guidance coming from within you into your knowing. It is though you have put a block on this information coming through or these abilities coming through because in higher truth, in this reality, in this expression, you may not be ready to experience it in the now because there is other human programs to, to transmute first before you are ready to experiencing uh, another higher version of you in this reality. So understand that if you want to have all the wisdom and abilities from your multidimensional life experience and have them activated within you in the now on what is supposed to come through in the now, in this reality, then you are required to do the soul work, the shadow work. And this will allow you to have that clear channel, so to speak. This will allow you to have an antenna, so to speak, to tune into all the wisdom, the guidance of the oneness state in your being. So this is why we have been emphasizing that the soul work is the process of unlearning. And this is the only process you need to do to allow you to remember all this wisdom for yourself because you already have that within you. You are internal. You look in the mirror and you see a human being. 
a three-dimensional being, but who you are is limitless. You are living so many lives, my dear one, in this moment. And all that wisdom is being poured into you to use. It is available to you in this reality. And to have that available to you is going through the process of unlearning the fears and limiting beliefs that tell you that you are separate, that are aligned to duality. If you can unlearn perceptions of duality, unlearn and understand what fear truly is and what love truly is, then you'll automatically have these things come online, this wisdom and these activations come online for you. Yes, there has been, um, you would say, energies available to you that makes this process more easier. But understand, even though the energies now exist in your reality to allow this process to be more easily managed, understand that you are still required to do the work. But this work does not have to be through suffering. It can be joyous. And it's only in your perception that you may perceive the soul work, the inner work, as difficult and challenging. Can you see it from a point of curiosity? Can you see that every time you are triggered, it is giving you an opportunity to remember your multidimensionality. It's giving you the opportunity to see how powerful you are in oneness. It's about how you perceive these triggering events. And understand that every triggering event is a mirror to your dimensional experience. And every emotional experience is alerting you to a set of beliefs and, and limiting perspectives on how you see yourself and the world. All is related. All is aligned. And understand there is nothing wrong with exploring dimensions of fear. But for many of you, do not enjoy exploring fear. But understand fear itself does not have to be difficult. It is a gift to you, a catalyst to show you the way home, which is love. For who you truly are is unconditional love, my dear one. Can you feel the love that you are, my dear one? Are you starting to experience the clarity now of who you are? I feel like it um, glimpses of it. <laughs> this is the way. Because you are still aligned to the collective consciousness and because the collective consciousness is still aligned, uh, still attached to programs of duality, you will still feel the fear coming up for you. There will be a time when the collective moves through paradigms of fear into more oneness remembrance. But until that time, understand that when you are triggered, when you experience the density of 3D reality, understand that any perceptions of density, any perceptions of fear is just an illusion. Take the perspective that it's just a game here. Take the perspective that all is happening for you to remember your oneness state. It is common to have fear with fear itself. Fear is an expansion teacher. There's nothing to be fearful of or fear itself. It's only how we perceive fear. You can change your perspective of how you perceive fear. Understand that when you are triggered, it's giving you the opportunity to see a higher perspective, to see more of who you are, to experience your oneness state, because you are ready. It's an achievement. You've been conditioned that when you are triggered, it means there is some failure in your point, in your perspective of self, or there's a failure of another to have this being triggered. There is no failure here. Understand that when you're experiencing a trigger or event, it shows you how powerful you are because it's giving you the opportunity for expansion.
because you're ready. You would not be triggered if you are not ready for further expansion. Can't you see? This is a master game being played here. And you wanted this challenge because you wanted to remember your purpose here. Because you are here to be a beacon of light for others. You may not see yourself as worthy of this in your current state of awareness, but understand it's all these processes, these unlearning processes to allow you to remember this for yourself. And every time you are triggered, it is happening for you. Dear one, are you starting to see now that it's happening for you? Yeah, I am. Um, that's something that I, I journal about when I am triggered and I try to shift to that higher perspective. That's a common thing that I've been writing to try to help me shift to see it from that view. Wonderful. It's just one step at a time, my dear one. We understand you may have some doubts on your journey and your progress on your path but you only need to look back on your journey and see how far you have come. Understand that you wanted to explore some difficult life experiences because you wanted so much expansion and understand that you have all the technologies within you to manage every obstacle that you face. It's about perceiving the obstacles as gifts they are not boulders in the stream here. They are gifts for you, waiting to be opened to reveal to you how powerful you truly are. Do you want? Is there any other questions before we finish here today? Yes, Lakeisha, I have one more. So Kimberly, your daughter, um, is going through brain fog. And I think it's because she's really shifting into the next dimension. And I've experienced not brain fog, but I've experienced like a weirdness as I shift into a new dimension. Can you just talk a little bit around this? My D1, all of you are shifting into dimensions that have never been experienced before in human form, in human consciousness. Yes, there have been cycles of golden ages in your terminology, but understand that they were just cycles of consciousness aligned to the human paradigm of physicality. Understand that where you are shifting to has never been experienced before for the human collective. Because it's not just your consciousness that is expanding into the awareness of who you are. It's your very physical vessel that is also shifting. You have now have entered into a paradigm has never been experienced before in physicality and in consciousness. You are the master teachers here and the way show is here. And Kimberly is a part of that. Understand that all of you experience these shifts uniquely and understand that some of these ascension symptoms, as you call it, are very unique because of your soul lessons and your soul purpose here. Because what is needed to let go of and understand that some of you, as you enter this new dimensional experience, as you embrace more of who you are, Experience your reality in a way that cannot be compared to a human program of reality, to a conditioned perspective of physical reality. And this is what is occurring for Kimberly and occurring for many others in different ways, in different unique nuanced ways. Understand that you have now entered into a paradigm where the operating system is not from the ego mind, it's not from the logical mind, it is from the knowing from the heart center. It is from feeling your way through physical reality. And because of this new operating system, there is 
as to how you operate in physical reality. You have been conditioned to navigate your physical reality through certain ego-based beliefs, through certain logical thinking, right? This is a program as part of the human collective consciousness, but understand that you are now traveling to a dimension where this is no longer needed. It has served you, yes, but you're now entering to a paradigm where you navigate physical reality from a place of knowing, from a place of heart-centered power, from a place of heart-centered leading. And understand there is so much attachment still to how to navigate the world from the logical mind, because this is how humans have been existing and traveling in their reality through all millennia. This is how the human collective navigated their reality until this point. Because you have moved beyond now human existence. You are now activating your galactic DNA. You are now moving to a physical reality where your physical vessel will align more to who you are beyond the human vessel. Your light bodies your divinity, all the magic of your being is being brought forth now and manifested in your physical form. So because of this, and because of the consciousness change associated with this, there might be some confusion, some sense of being out of time, being out of physical reality, because you're stepping into a reality that's never been known before. You are stepping into a whole new way of operating in reality. So it's only natural that, uh, that during this transition, as you get used to this new reality, how you perceive the world and how you use certain, you would say, centers, certain programs, certain technologies will be shifting and have shifted. And this will allow you to operate from the place of oneness, not from a point of individuality, but from a point of oneness. But understand that you can also be unique from a point of oneness, but it is more aligned to your energetic self, to your light bodies, to your unique self in relation to your multidimensionality not your individual state as a, th as a 3D perspective of self. So this is why there are so many interesting ascension symptoms occurring at the moment. And understand this is all part of the process. It's about surrendering to it, being able to embrace it, it is about being gentle on yourself, having compassion on yourself on how this may be expressed through you. Nurture yourself during this time. Understand that you are shifting beyond your current comprehension. Not just in consciousness, but how you navigate this reality is shifting. The very fundamental ways on how you navigate is shifting. Everything is shifting. So it's only natural to have some confusion. It is only natural to have some disorientation on how you navigate your reality. This is evidence of how far you have shifted. This is evidence of how the collective is shifting into their purpose, into their oneness state. Of course, some symptoms may create a fearful response. It is because it is unknown. If you can surrender to the unknown, if you can surrender to the fact that everything that you once knew in how to navigate reality is falling away. And you are required to let go of how you operate in this reality if you are to remember more of your one state. And yes, there may be some resistance here because how you navigate your reality is how you perceive yourself to, 
to experience physical reality. It is how you see the world. It is how you bridge your spiritual self and your physical self. So it is at the very fundamental level of your being here in physical reality. So let go of the resistance and surrender to it. You are changing beyond every definition that has ever been. Can you surrender to it? It might be challenging to surrender to it because there is an unknown factor here. You do not know how you will be existing on the other side. You do not know how your reality will look like. You do not know how others in your life will react to it, how others will perceive it. You do not know how this will relate to your soul journey going forward, but it's about embracing it and understanding that any unusual shifts or ascension symptoms are only temporary. It's about surrendering to it, being gentle on yourself, being compassionate with yourself and all others in this journey. Can you feel the shifts now? Can you see the evidence of just how expansive you truly are and how powerful you truly are? As you all yeah, go forward like, now, uh, <laughs> as you all go forward now in your journey, it is about surrendering to the shifts that are now occurring within you, both physically and energetically. And embracing it, accepting it. And you will be called to step more forward into your power. You will be called to be that beacon of light for others. Even if that elicits fear. It is about now taking action in your power and understand that the power being activated within you is from the heart center. There is nothing to be fearful of because the power is from your heart center, from your div divine state of being. It is time now to step more forward into your power and to your heart centeredness for your heart center is the portal to who you truly are. It is the portal to your multidimensionality. It is the portal to remember that you are one, that you are source. D ones. Is there any other questions before we finish here today? D ones understand that who you are is shifting in every single way and understand that this may feel unusual to you because you are swimming in in waters that have never been swum in before you are now swimming into your potentiality but it's up to you to dive into it it is up to you to take that leap of faith into the unknown. But as you take that leap, understand that you will emerge from a perspective of love, of unity. It is all there waiting for you if you are willing to jump. If you are willing to let go of what no longer serves you and what no longer serves the collective. Are you willing to take that jump? That is there for you, is always been there for you. And you hear that call within you, don't you? All of you do. There's just some of you are fearful of taking that jump. Understand that you are shifting in so many different ways. And because of this, the energy programs that has been aligned to duality consciousness are shifting, are being released. So be patient on yourself as you go through this process of transmuting these programs, as you release what no longer serves you. So be compassionate on your journey here. Understand that you have all the technologies within you to embrace your journey fully, to see the gifts within it. It is all there. All the power, all the wisdom is within you. All the abilities is within you. 
all the universe is within you. Understand that everything you see in your physical reality is a reflection of what is going on within you. Be the love that you seek. Be the light that you seek. It's coming to that point where you're being called to step more forward in your power. If you can take that leap into the unknown. When you make that jump, you will remember who you are. The world where unity is remembered, where love is remembered, is available to you and is on its way to be attracted into the collective consciousness. But as you are the light workers and the way showers, you are at the forefront of this process. So listen to the knowing, listen to the inspiration. Most importantly, listen to your heart. Your heart now is your compass. No longer is the ego, logical, analytical mind. It is the way of the divine feminine in your terminologies. It is fulfilling your reality, the knowing, the intuition. So embrace it and embrace this transitional period into the new you and the new earth in your terminology. You have the power, you all have the abilities to bring this into physical reality. My dear ones, it is with such love that we come through today. Remember that we are one. Remember that you are love. Remember that you are divine. Remember that you are truly limitless in every single way. It is with such love that we come through today. Until next time, farewell. <laughs>